touchdown. Crowds go crazy when Jill Scallion takes the stage. Women can't wait for him to walk by. He's country's hot new star, and he's a total fraud. Coming up, the man who scammed the country music fans. Willie Nelson wanted to hang with him. I closed the show here on, uh, on Friday. Did you? And Leanne Rimes loved racing lawnmowers against him. They thought he was country star Dill Scallion, but he was really an imposter fooling everyone in Nashville. We all agree that we had more fun than, than we've ever had doing anything. The story of how he did it. Garth Brooks and Shania Twain, some of the biggest names in country music. Now you can add another name to that list, Dill Scallion. Our Rick Schwartz introduces you to a country star almost too good to believe. Everywhere Dill Scallion plays, frenzied fans scream. Pretty girls swoon. And delirious crowds do the Scallion Shuffle. But what a lot of those fans don't know is that country's latest star is just a Hollywood hoax. Every time we walked off that bus, we, you know, we had to be Bubba and Dill. Let us explain. Dill Scallion and his sideman, Bubba Pearl, are really actors Billy Burke and David Koechner. They conned their way into the world of country music for a satirical new film called Dill Scallion, a fake documentary chronicling the rise and fall of a country music star. Because who's to tell what is and isn't talent? We all agree that we had more fun than, than we've ever had doing anything. This is where we're going to stage the play. This country con is the brainchild of filmmaker Jordan Brady. For his movie, Jordan corralled up-and-coming actors who could sing, rounded up a band, and loaded them all into a tour bus. Since they didn't have the money for fancy Hollywood sets, these imposters faked their way into the real world of country music, booking themselves into beer joints and honky-tonks throughout the South, saying, Hey, can I book my band here for 20 minutes? Who's your band? Well, Dill Scallion and the Dillionaires. Sure, no problem. 20 minutes set. It was a countrywide hootin' man. <laughs> <laughs> and Jordan captured every moment on camera. The cast was so convincing that when they arrived at a concert called Country Fest in Texas, they were able to con their way on stage to get this footage of Dill in front of thousands of screaming fans. We just walked out there and the crowd went nuts. That's they went crazy. <laughs> Backstage, real country star Leanne Rimes reckoned she was racing lawnmowers against a real singer in an anti-drug benefit. Well, Leanne just was, you know, she was a young teenage girl and there's a good-looking guy on a lawnmower next to you. Whew. She's thinking he's the real deal. And even country legend Willie Nelson thought he was the real deal. Dill just walked up to Willie in character, never lost it, and they started rapping. We're just starting out, I close the show here on, uh, on Friday. Did you? Yeah. But not everyone was fooled by the filmmakers. Watch what happens when Dill moseys into an autograph signing for Billy Ray Cyrus's fan club. He's out of here right now. Despite the showdown with Billy Ray, the overall response to the film has been outstanding. People within country music sure know how to take a joke. And uh, we just wanted to have fun. <laughs> They are good sports. The film does not have a distributor. By the way, when Leanne Rimes and Willie Nelson learned they were scammed, both harbored no ill will against the filmmakers. Leanne even agreed to sing at the film's premiere party at the Slam Dance Film Festival.